Our team coverage continues, and even with all that rain and snow, California is in the middle of, of a drought for a third consecutive year. CBS 47's Liv Johnson joins us now live in Fresno. And Liv, the ag industry is still looking for a Christmas miracle. They really are hoping for some rain like we saw over the weekend. They're happy with that, but California has seen its three driest years on record, and farmers are still having to follow their land and let go of their employees. We are really in bad straits right now if things don't change around pretty quickly. As 2022 comes to an end, CEO of the Fresno County Farm Bureau, Ryan Jacobson, says 2023 needs to be an above average year for water allocation for the Central Valley in order for the area to return to any sort of normalcy. We don't want to see another year. You know, the fourth year of drought just is kind of a cumulative effect. You see more and more acreage go out of production there, and it really does devastate those small communities. Among the devastation, farm workers are losing their jobs in droves. Joe Del Bosque of Del Bosque Farm says he has had half as many farm workers in 2022 than he had in 2021. These farm workers, um, they have nowhere to turn to and sometimes they have to uproot their families and move away somewhere else to look for work. Earlier this month, the California Department of Water Resources announced an initial 5% allocation of imported water from the state water project. Del Bosque says that percentage won't be enough and the state needs to invest in infrastructure for water storage. Some of these storms come quickly and intensely and they, they dump a lot of water and we need to be nimble at capturing and, and saving as much of that water as we can. Jacobson says farmers have to look ahead to February to see what percentage of federal water allocation the valley will receive. But they're already planning for next year with another drought in mind. Even if we were to have a fairly good year, it's very difficult to all of a sudden turn that around because they've had to make either plants or seed or other types of purchases to get themselves ready for the spring. And unfortunately, they had to just make the assumption that they were going to be dry, that it was going to be another drought year. Jacobson says a lot could depend on whether the Central Valley gets five to seven really good storms in the next couple of months, but farmers are planning for another year like this one. I've been Fresno. I'm Liv Johnson, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.